<laughs> I'm Scuba Sam, Scuba Steve's father. You see, my boy needs to scuba vault. The only problem is he's afraid scuba vault alone. So I was wondering if maybe you could keep him company. Scuba vaulting. Terrific! Hajime! Alright, I'm gonna try and make this one another fast one. For the last two weeks, I've been trying to get back to fulls. The first week felt stupid. And this week felt a little better. I've been kind of feeling like... You know those kids who run full speed and jump into the pool and then they're like... Ugh. Or like a missed high five. <laughs> or like Carrie feeding a duck. Oh. <laughs> or like Kyle chickening out when he's trying to jump off the BSA roof. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's been feeling like. A lot of like. This is way too fast for my brain! And that's what the videos look like too. <gasps> Come on! Okay, I, I can do it. So I'm doing the run and I feel pretty quick, and then when I come up to the box, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm just super hesitant because everything feels really quick, which is a good problem, I'm saying. But each jump session is getting better, so I plan on jumping from poles a whole bunch just because my body can handle it right now. So I'm down a lot of poles, and I'm cool with that, jumping little bars, but it's gonna come back because it's been over a year since I've done poles. So yeah, that's how pole vault's been going. All right, I've been getting two questions a lot recently, and one is, are you still doing the Zen stuff? And the other question is, are you gonna be in the Olympics? I wanna see you in the Olympics. Are you even trying to go to the Olympics? What's going on with the Olympics? So I'm gonna answer both questions at the exact same time. Let's do it. Story time, story time. This is gonna be the story time. Last year, pole vault and life in general stopped being fun. So I quit the pole vault, stopped training, fell deeper into a depression, and just merely existed. I realized all I want to do is enjoy life and do Team Hoot and have new experiences. Something needed to change, so I asked myself, who are the happiest people you can think of? The Buddhist monks and the Dalai Lama seem pretty happy to me. So I decided to practice Zen for 365 days straight. After even four weeks, pole vault and life became fun again. So to answer your question, I'm still doing the Zen stuff. It's like daily practice. Every moment I'm kind of practicing it now. It's kind of forced me to look at reality versus delusion. Whereas like the delusion is like your ego, judgment, comparison, jealousy, living in the future or the past, etc. Whereas like reality is like this present moment and the experiences you are having based on your own unique perspective. Because like a blind guy is gonna have a different perspective than somebody who's not blind. So what I see, I have to just take in that maybe my eyes are different than somebody else's. It's kind of messed up and screws with your brain, but I like it. It's been difficult, but super freeing at the same time so far. So now on to the Olympic stuff. There was this huge realization that happened with kind of looking internally at yourself at this depth. And I'm kind of, I came to the realization that I never really wanted to go to the Olympics or be an Olympian is what I really like what I wanted at the time I cared about people thinking I was good enough like and that's hard to say I had a lot of like self-worth issues and I guess I still do I think a lot of people do I always thought that if I was a conference champion or if I jump 16 feet 17 feet 18 feet if I make nationals if I win a medal at nationals if I win nationals you know have sponsors sponsor me make the Olympic trials make the Olympic team I thought all these things would validate my hard work and who I was as a person and an athlete. The problem with this is, is it never ends. I finally jumped 18 feet. I was like, yes, it was this huge thing. It was like, it was my huge goal and I was pumped I did it. Now that's all I wanted for a long time. And a big chunk of that was like, people wouldn't think I suck anymore. And then you go to Reno and they're like, you're in these meetings and they tell you, it's not good enough. You need to be jumping 19 feet every single meet. And the French are jumping higher than you and you suck and you need to do better. I just work 
12 years to be able to jump that bar and it wasn't enough. I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> it kind of like really punches you in the nuts. So with the Zen meditation, it's kind of helped me be aware of these delusions. Delusions um, that I have about certain things that isn't really reality. And reality is like, why my self-worth isn't measured by how high I jump. <laughs> That's stupid. And it was really hard to kind of come to that term because I've always considered myself a big time perfectionist. And perfectionism is kind of dangerous because if you can never be perfect or if things are only okay if you're perfect, 99% of the time you're gonna be miserable. <laughs> That's a super hard spot to live in and I've done it for many years. I know I'm talking too much. Sum this all together, the Olympics from day one was never my goal. My goal when I started pole vault was to see how high I could jump and then whatever came with that, cool. And if nothing came with that, cool. I didn't really give a shit at the time. Now looking at it, even want to go to the Olympic trials because why would I spend like two to three thousand dollars to go to one meet where I don't really care about the outcome. It just isn't that important to me. And I'm not saying it's not important because that's a super cool goal for a lot of people. It's just not my goal and I think that's all right. My goal now is just to see how high I can jump. And if I get to choose where I can test that, I would rather do it with around you guys. So my plan is to do train through indoor because I didn't care about the US championships anymore either. They're kind of boring to be honest with you. Like they're fun because you're hanging out with your friends, but it's boring because nobody's in the stands ever. <laughs> so I'm going to street meets, a bunch of street meets this summer, and I trained through indoor so I could be ready to jump high all summer. That's kind of my plan. So it feels really good to come to the delusion, or come to the realization that I had a delusion that being an Olympian would somehow um, fulfill me and complete like this mental construct or image that I have. In all reality, it's like, <laughs> If you're constantly trying to build yourself and not realizing that you're already exactly what you're supposed to be, that's kind of weird. Like, you're not really your name. If you think about it, it was given to you. Like, who were you before your name? Who were you before your name? Or who were you before you were born? That's kind of like Zen ass that a lot. And it's really kind of like, well, who was I before pole vault? And if I wasn't pole vaulting, who would I be? So who cares what pole vault? Pole vault's not who I am. It's just what I do. So, it's fun looking at it like that. So yes, Zen, cool, Olympics, don't care right now. I <laughs> just want to jump around you guys. So yeah, alright, let's do the rant of the week. It's like when you go to the airport and they're like, Why do you have seven poles? And immediately you kind of want to go, Why do you have a jacket, shirt, t-shirt, sweater, and bra on? The way you're asking this question is kind of like saying, If you go outside in a snowstorm, your bra is going to keep your titties warm. That's not how it works. Keep your titties warm. You mean there's more than one pole in there? That's what your <laughs> said last night. That might cross the line with that one. I should probably not have said that. But okay, let's keep going. Hey, I'm going to go uh, golf 18 rounds. Which is my putter. I'd like to see you drive with that putter and see how that goes. But you're not going to putt your way to victory. It's kind of like saying, hey, I'm going to build a house, but I only have this hammer and no wood and no nails and no hand for my hammer. <laughs> Shit, if you don't let them build a house, build a boat. Still, no wood, no hand, and no nails, only a, only a hammer. Honestly. There might be a headwind, tailwind, uh, crosswind. I might be tired, I might be slow, I might be super fast. I might just need some warm-up poles so I don't kill myself. Because if I die, because I only have one pole, then it's your fault. I forgot who sent this to me, so send me an email so I can send you your cool free stickers. Cha-chang. All right, on March 8th. No, I lied. Not the 8th, that's the last day. Keep your titties warm. On March 2nd through the 8th, I'm going down to Daniel Rylands in Florida uh, just to hang out. And if you guys are around the area and want to hang out, let me know. I created a new shirt idea, and he will actually print those down there. I'm really excited. Me and Carrie are both going. I'm going to do all sorts of crazy stuff that I never thought I could do. I've never met Daniel, so this will be super fun. More cool news! Alright, on March 18th and the 19th, I'm going to be running a camp clinic, pole vault extravaganza thing at the Philadelphia Vault Club. So if you guys are around the Philadelphia, Jersey... Hell, even if you're not around the area but want to go anyways and hang out with me and you know we can, we can hang out. <laughs> Check that out. That'll be really fun too. I will bring some shirts and stuff. Yeah, social media, Sean Danger, Hoot, okay, bye! You're good at this one. And we will rock you! <laughs> No, I'm not.
No, I don't! 